hello again so uh, another quick blender video um, this is blender 2.7 and just having a look see what we can do so um, the next thing you want to do is set a unit scale system inside blender when you launch blender everything's in sort of blender units which you know sort of reminds me of um, soft image which is in soft image units and on all that shenanigans so let's fix that up if we possibly can uh, I was going to have a look around here. Matter of fact, I did have a look around here under user preferences. I'm thinking, is it in here somewhere? And I had a look and I couldn't find it, so I went online and had a look. And basically, no, it's not in there, it's over here. So, currently, you can see the dimensions of various objects. Like this object is currently uh, 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 by 0 0.5, and that is currently 1, and this is. Uh, point 0.5 high uh, Z is up by the way because I've got max um, keyboard shortcuts so that's why Z is up uh, don't know if Blender Z up anyway maybe it is don't know not not sure but I'm using Bl the studio max shortcut keys anyway moving on to units how to get this thing into metric would be useful wouldn't it so well you just go over to this little tab here and clickety click on that and currently my units which is under here units is in none and I would like it in metric so when we put it into metric let's put it back into none again look up here yeah nothing up there put it into metric bada bang bada boom we, what we now have is meters displayed here and this this square yeah is a meter and if we go uh, top view we can see that we have um, in between the major parts of these things we have 10 centimeters if I zoom back out again to a certain point there we go he says trying to find it there we go so now we're in meters each of those square is a square meter and as I zoom in now it's in 10 cent now we're in um, soft image land of 10 centimeters yeah if I zoom in further and further and further then we're going to get into centimeters now so each one of these major divisions is a centimeter and each one of these minor divisions is a millimeter. If we zoom in again, we should be able to go into millimeters very shortly. He says, there we go, now we're into millimeters. This is a tenth of a millimeter. So we now have coolness. Now we have meters and if we go out, 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 now we have tens of meters, that's 10 meters square. If we go out even further, we'll probably have a 100 meters. If we go out further, we'll have a kilometer. So that's a kilometer. There we go. So now we have a proper measuring system. We'll just press Z and we'll zoom in. There we go. So um, how cool is that? Quite cool. And of course you can have imperial measurement systems if you're in the land of America. I think that's basically it for the imperial. I think them and probably somewhere weird like Chile or something like that is still has um, feet and inches. Uh, which of course, you know, English people did invent it and then the French people decided they couldn't count up to 12 so we, they had to do tens in which case we're in metric land which is a lot easier I have to say I can remember trying to do my 12 times table and 11 times table and all them things very difficult uh, whereas tens are quite easy um, unless you're blonde which is harder so there you go now we're in metric land how fan dabby to uh, coin a Scottish phrase is that quite good there you go so that is how to set up your metric measuring system and now you'll notice that this guy when we look at him in here in dimensions he is 50 centimeters tall 35.137 centimeters in the Y and blah blah in the Z and whatever um, there you go and that is measuring system not that difficult when you know where it is and uh, that's that see you in a bit cheers bye